It began as a quiet day. Our two intrepid adventurers, best friends forever, were doing their usual morning reading while reviewing their favorite maps and travel books. Suddenly, a spark of inspiration ignited in both their minds at the exact same time. They would cycle the Balkans, a land of exotic culture and breathtaking vistas that beckoned to be explored on two wheels. This would be the adventure of a lifetime. A slight hiccup presented itself. Quite unexpectedly, they were sitting in someone else's front yard. They quickly made their escape. Parking for a bicycle excursion, one might say, is no simple affair. Waterproof bags, cycling jerseys, more bags, biddens. Did I mention bags? But, as any true adventurer knows, the real riches of a journey lie not in the gear, but in the company one keeps. And so, our two fellows set out to gather the most gritty and spunky companions they knew. The team would be composed of four individuals, each bringing their complementary skills. Nicholas, aspiring filmmaker. He would be attempting the making of his 19th movie, documenting every part of the trip at the risk of losing his own life. Felix, a student of the art of photography for over a decade. Training his stamina and shooting capabilities was the easy part. Getting the best equipment brought along some questionable affairs. Annie, animal savior. She once dove into a river to save a drowning bird. She didn't know how to swim. Since then, the bird returns every time she whistles. Matt. He has no clue what he just signed up for. This will be the first time he rides a bike. Their trip starts in the land formerly known as Yugoslavia, a vast territory home to over 11,000 donkeys, which still represent a vital part of the economy. Geography, mountainous and coastal. Typical cuisine, meat or pastry with meat. For more than 20 years, the country had no idea they were harboring the world's most famous band, hiding under the clever alias of Bitsley. And so, with a leap of faith and a twirl of the compass, our travellers found themselves transported to the heart of the Balkans. The route they embarked upon was not for the faint of heart. A quest to scale the highest peaks and bask in the idyllic splendor of the shoreline. Let's say, Nico preferred the mountains. For the dauntless travelers, it was a pilgrimage of sorts. A search for the harmonious balance between nature and civilization. They would find their fair share of villages and towns to resupply culinary delights and spots to lay their weary heads to rest for the night. Shit. Hey Felix, as-tu ma brosse à dents? Each day was a new picturesque adventure, beginning with an elaborate stretching session to maintain peak physical condition, followed by big hills on which they wheezed like doddering old pufferfish. The route was composed of various obstacles, bridges to cross, big bridges, small bridges, fortified bridges, ancient bridges, cows, 
tiny cows, mountain villages, abandoned villages, historic villages, lost villages, Soviet villages, big villages, no villages, more bridges, my word, what could be the attraction up here? Oh dear, he's probably dead. The journey continued, and our delightful friends were each living their own respective version of the trip. Annie, the unflinching naturalist, grew more and more resourceful in her quest to spot the elusive Savvy's pipistrel, a rare bat species she had studied in much detail since kindergarten. She scoured the land, leaving no stone unturned in her quest for a rare glimpse of the winged wonder. Nicholas approached the making of his latest movie with the utmost commitment to cinema verite. Every detail, no matter how small, was meticulously captured on film, and each moment, whether grand or mundane, was preserved for posterity. All the while, ensuring that his presence never interfered with the natural course of events. Felix, with three cameras slung over his shoulder and one more stashed in his pocket, averaged 329 photos per day. The young lad was as prepared to collaborate as he was to contend with any obstacle that would prevent him from taking the perfect shot. The sweet reprieve of rest, a sanctuary for the weary traveller. Matt, known for his laid-back nature, was always quick to seize an opportunity to unwind. But perhaps, this time, fate had other plans. As they pedalled onward, they knew their trip through the Balkans was once in a lifetime. The good times, as they say, were unfolding before their very eyes. The finish line still lay far beyond the horizon, and yet our adventurers cherished every kilometre that remained. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Nico walked up to the stranger's doorstep, he couldn't help but wonder what sort of reaction would follow. For he had brought with him a film that would take them all on a new adventure. Oh, baby.